In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D playbook in WordPress. And this is what we'll achieve by the end of this video. Awesome! By the end of this tutorial, I'll show you how to add your playbook using Gutenberg and Elementor. So, if you want to learn how to create a 3D playbook in WordPress, Keep watching. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digital Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. To create this playbook, I'm going to install a plugin. To do that, I go to the back end of my website. Then I go over to plugins, click on add new. And the search plugins I search for 3D playbook. In here, you will find a couple of 3D playbook plugins, but I'm going to go ahead and install the first one PDF playbook, 3D playbook by Dear Hive. I click on install now. I activate. The plugin is installed and activated successfully. And you see D flip books right here. From here, you can go to all books, add new book or categories. Having the opportunity to create categories will be good. That is, if you have different categories of flip book you want to be creating on your website. I'll just go ahead and add a new book. In here, I'll go ahead and add a title for my new book. Next, I go to D flip settings and the source we have book source type. From here, you can choose either a PDF file or an image. For this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and use a PDF file. And next is PDF file. I go ahead and select my PDF. I click on select files. I have my PDF file here. I select it. Click on open. Then I wait for it to upload. It is uploaded. I click on send to D flip. If you have a thumbnail image, you can go ahead and select it, and that is what I will do. I go to Upload Files, Select Files. I have it right here. I select it. It is uploaded. I send to Dflip. Awesome. Next, you can go ahead and customize the layout. In here, you have a bunch of settings to perform. At the moment, I'm not going to change anything. Next, I go to Outline. In here, you have the opportunity to auto enable outline on start. You can also choose to enable thumbnail on start, or you can go ahead and override the PDF outline. For now, I leave everything as they are and I go ahead and publish my playbook. The book is published. The next thing I do is go ahead and copy this short code. And you can either choose to copy a normal playbook or a flipbook with thumbnail, whichever one you want. I'll go by the thumbnail, so I'll go ahead and select the short code, then I'll copy it. Next, I'll go over to pages and I'm going to go ahead and add a new page. I'll open that in a new tab so that I won't lose this interface. I give my page a title. Next, I click on add block and I search for short code. I have short code right here i click on it then i go ahead and enter in my short code like this then i click on publish publish again the page is published i can go ahead and view it and i have my flipbook right here to view it i simply go ahead and click on it and this is how it will be displayed so to move to the next page, I click on the right arrow right here. Perfect. Awesome. So if I want to go back. Perfect. Down here below, I have some controls. You can also go ahead and use the arrows here to flip your book. Perfect. You can zoom in. 
so that you'll be able to read clearly. You can also go ahead and zoom out. You can toggle thumbnails like this so that you see all the pages at the left side of your page. You can quickly click on any page to take you there. Perfect. You can click back on the toggle thumbnails to disable it or you can close it from here. Whichever way, you can go ahead and share your flipbook. You can even download it from here. You can make it a single page mode. Let's do that. Perfect. You can even toggle on full screen mode. This one too is cool. I take it back to double page mode. Then I exit from the full screen mode. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's continue. I exit out of here. Then I go back to my playbook settings. Going back to layout, I drop down the arrow under 3D or 2D. This is a particular one we've seen that is WebGL 3D. Let's see how CSS 3D will come up. Then I go ahead and update. It is updated. I go to the front end and refresh. I view the book. Let's go to the next page. So this is how the flipping will look like in the CSS 3D. Perfect. So whichever one you want, you can go ahead and select it. I exit from here, going back to settings. In here, you can go through all the settings and the layout and customize it just the way you want. I won't be able to go through all, but let me show you how you can add a background color. All what you need to do is just click in here. Then you go ahead and enter the hex code of the color you want to use. So I enter hash, then I enter FFF555. Then I update, going back, I refresh, then I view my book. So this is the color we'll see at the background. I prefer using black, so let me go back and change it to black. So black will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. I update. Next, I go ahead and refresh the page. I view the book and I think black is cool. It's good for the eyes. Perfect. Now let's see how we can embed our flipbook with Elementor. I exit out of here. Then I go over to pages. Click on add new. I open it in a new tab. I give my page a title. My 3D book 2. Then I go ahead and edit it with Elementor. And the search widgets are set for short code. I have short code right here. I just drag it in here. Then I go ahead and paste in my short code. And I have my flipbook right here. Maybe I can add in, maybe I can add in some space at top and at bottom. So I select edit section. I go over to advanced margin. I enter. 50. So if you have several, so if you have several, so if you have several flip books, you can go ahead and add them in columns. So I can duplicate this. Maybe four times. So if I have other three flip books, I can add them in here just by editing the short code. Now I go ahead and publish my page. My page is published. I can go ahead and take a look. View page. Perfect. I view my book. Perfect. Another way you can flip your book is by hovering on the top right here. Click and you can just flip it like this. Perfect.
Awesome. So that's it on how to create a 3D flipbook in WordPress. Now, if you want to learn how to embed PDF files on WordPress without plugins, I'll leave a video link to it in the description down below. You can go ahead and check it out. All right, guys, I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly hit the like button, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed, and also hit the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching, and I will see you in the next one.